Yo, Zen Dude Nation, what is happening? I know you're thinking to yourself, hey, it's dark outside, what's going on? Is the video about to start? And here's the thing, guys. Earlier this evening, Dan and I were shooting a workout for you guys, which is completed and on YouTube right now, and get a lean course, week one, day five. And we completely like forgot that we had all the footage from the day that we shot. I, I know you're thinking, how do you forget this? I, I don't know. But somehow we forgot that all the footage from the day, from this freaking epic day that we had today, was on there and so we deleted it. And so something that's so important to us is bringing you guys the best content we can. Like making sure that stuff is constantly better every single time that we produce a video. Like that is what we're, that is like what we're dedicating our lives to right now. And so when we lost all this footage, we had like two decisions. We could either one, just try to get something out really quick and half-ass it, or two, be straight up with you guys and say like, this happens. Like we're running a startup right now and we're giving our heart and soul into this business because we care about it and we care about the movement and we believe that like we need to fight and we need to work really hard to continue to push us forward to make sure that like people understand the message behind what we're trying to do here. That like life can be so good, it can be so gratifying, it can be so rich and juicy if you dedicate yourself to finding the right knowledge to live the life that you desire. And when it comes to fitness, that's just another piece of the puzzle. We want to teach you, we want to teach the world, and you guys have already started to grasp this, that like, yo, fitness can be super fun, and it can be a part of a lifestyle that like is enjoyable. And you can go after your passions and your dreams with like everything you have in your heart, and know that like fitness is taken care of, like move your body once a day, right? Eat the right amount of food for your body. You know, make this a part of your lifestyle that you enjoy and that you look forward to doing. And I really hope that you guys have gotten that from like the videos, from the, the, the vlogs, the workouts, the tutorials, everything we've created is all about promoting this one message that like fitness should be enjoyable, your life should be, your life should be freaking awesome. We want the best for you. And we believe that you deserve the best because we all do. And it's about understanding that life's gonna punch you in the face over and over and over again. And to be completely honest, hopefully I'm not rambling too much at this point, but to be completely honest, like after all that footage got deleted, I was pretty down. I was like, come on, man, we have like a million and one things going on in this business. Like things keep on going like wrong, right? And I was like, is this really happening right now? And then I really zoomed down and got perspective. And one of the things that helped me was I was listening to a podcast where Ray Lewis was being interviewed and this dude was taking care of his four siblings and his mom well, basically while he was in high school still, which is insane. And then he went into college and like was using his student aid to have his whole family live with him. Like the things this guy had to go through with like out of father were insane. And like I've actually been gifted like everything in the world. Amazing, loving parents, like middle class upbringing in the United States of America. Like I've been gifted everything I need to succeed and still life punches me in the face and things are hard at times. But you know, hearing a story like that, and I know so many of you out there have been through so much more than probably Dan or myself could ever imagine. But the moral story is like, what do you do? You don't give up. It doesn't matter what your circumstances are. The only thing you have control over is how you decide to react, right? Are you gonna light, are you gonna just like let life walk all over you? Or are you gonna make the decision that this thing between your ears is gonna be the thing that allows you to go from where you're right now, where you are right now, to creating a vision, taking action on that vision, and then getting the results that you want. That's it. That's all it takes. And it doesn't matter what obstacles you have to overcome, you just have to never give up. And if for, if for you personally, if you're like, yo, I've struggled with this fitness thing for a while, I want to lose weight, I want to feel better, I want more energy, but it's hard. This is an opportunity for you to say, you know what, I'm not gonna give up. Maybe I'm gonna start moving my body. Maybe I'll try jump rope. Maybe I'll look into like consuming a certain amount of calories for my body that's just for my body and not try to do some trending diet that's out there that promises quick results. Maybe you're that person or maybe you're someone who's like been trying to like find a good relationship in their life and you're like, you know what, forget like men, or forget women, 
and maybe you say no, maybe I'm going to actually just keep going forward and I'm not just going to be that pessimistic person that says like people are bad. If we had a YouTube comment today or yesterday, the last couple days where someone was like, oh Brandon, you found a Colombian wife because we did the free union and he's like, yo, I just want to let you know like, you know, girls here in LA suck, but like, you know, what are you doing getting married in Colombia too? Like all women suck, the world's ending. And it's just like that kind of perspective is what holds people down. Because that person has all the opportunity in the world to have an amazing, wonderful relationship, but he's giving up by just saying, hey, there aren't you know, good partners out there. Women are bad. And it's that kind of just like black and white, just I give up, I don't care attitude that doesn't allow people to live their best lives. And so I just want to keep running through these things. For us, it's always business. And it's the fact that we are going after our entrepreneurial dreams right now through Zendu Fitness. I want everyone out there who has maybe thought about doing something like this themselves to reflect and understand that you can too. Like we were here in Cricket a year ago and now we don't have a giant company, but like it's working and we have an awesome community here and we're all on the same page. All of us think the same thing. Like you watching this us, we're like, yeah, this is like a pretty cool thing we have going on here. And so it's working. And so if you want to do anything, it doesn't matter what it is, maybe you want to write some code, like you can do it. Just decide. Once you decide what you want for your life, you're going to make it happen. Just don't give up. Don't ever give up. See an obstacle and just take it in. Let it do what it does. Let it have its effects on you and then move on. That's all I want to say today. Um, what we were able to salvage is the workout, so you guys can watch that. It should come up on the screen in a second here. And finally, a dope time lapse. Love y'all. Deuces.